One of the reasons why I enjoy astrophysics is that one, from my personal perspective, one needs to have a general knowledge of many areas of physics. For me, I like to be a generalist. I like to know a little bit about as many things as possible and then like pieces of a puzzle. Bring this knowledge together to try to come up with something really interesting to do. And so in the case of this project that I reported on yesterday, we found isotope iron 60 in 90 nanometer sized magnetite crystals made by bacteria that live in the sediments of the ocean. And this iron 60 came to our planet about two million years ago from a supernova explosion. So it was a project that brought in nuclear astrophysics, what's happening when the star explodes, what does the star make when it explodes, and then if that material comes to Earth, where does it go? It goes, of course, to the water, it goes to the land, but then finally those atoms of iron 60, finally where do they where do they finally end up? Do they, what mineral phases do they go in? So that's where the geophysics comes in. The iron 60 goes into certain minerals. And if you then understand, or if you've read some stuff to learn that there are really crazy bacteria that live in the ocean sediments that make inside themselves these nano, 90 nanometer sized crystals of magnetite. So it uses iron. So if you have isotope iron 60 coming into the ocean, the bacteria are grabbing these iron atoms, they bring these into the crystals that they make, and then when the bacteria die, the crystals stay behind in the sediments. Okay, so the, the sediment has all these crystals made by the bacteria sitting in them. Those crystals should have the stars iron 60 inside them. And if you, if you have that idea, then okay, how do I measure that? And so then at my university, at the Technical University of Munich, we have a, a 14 megavolt tandem accelerator lab. And my esteemed colleagues there, they built up a very special experimental facility that lets one measure with extreme sensitivity um, the still live atoms of a radioactive isotope before those atoms decay. And so we developed a technique with chemistry to get, we, we got sediments from the Pacific Ocean. We did a chemistry method on, uh, on these sediments to dissolve these magnetite crystals the bacteria make, get the iron from those, and then make samples um, to put inside the tandem accelerator of our machine and accelerate those atoms into a detector system that then counts those atoms of iron 60, but also clearly tells us that is an atom of iron 60, not an atom of, for example, nickel 60. We don't want to count those. And then prove that this supernova material actually went into these biogenically made crystals by these bacteria. And then this tells us that two million years ago, a star exploded fairly close to our solar system. It required looking at different areas of science. So taking the astrophysics knowledge, but opening the book in the head and, and looking at other areas of science, not as an expert, but just, and then seeking out people in the different areas of science, geophysics, geomagnetism, and work with them. Well, so I'm only, I've only been here now for 36 hours. So. <laughs> And I arrived at night. So, no, I mean, the university, certainly the environment of the university, uh, the, the young people um, are very enthusiastic and very curious about new things. I was shown a tour of this Geophysics Institute and was highly impressed and shocked <laughs> in a positive way at how many laboratory facilities they have. The, 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 they have X-ray spectrometry, um, facilities here to, to obtain information on the isotopic composition of terrestrial samples that they get and so on. In this building alone, they, they have four or five different high, really high-end, impressive experimental ex spectrometers, uh, either by way of measuring masses of isotopes and atoms or by measuring the X-ray emission from electronic excitations of those atoms to get elemental composition of material. 
so the, the, the facilities here in this institute, um, I would say, are world class.